education in Dublin City Schools. Um, we are in a massive whirlwind of change right now in public education uh, for many, many reasons. Number one is our world is changing. Uh, you look at the introduction of technology, you, in, you look at uh, the global competition that, that all of you face in the private sector, we're facing the same thing. Uh, there's a perception that public education has slipped in its performance when you see a lot of the information in uh, the newspaper or on TV. Oftentimes you're seeing test scores as it relates to China or Singapore or some other country. And there's this, there's this narrative almost that public education is, is going backwards in its quality. And I'm here to tell you that is just not true. Uh, the, the academic success of students and what they're learning today <coughs> in American public education is at an all-time high. And, and it is just absolutely the reverse of the narrative that we hear. We continue to be compared against countries that operate in a different way. Um, if we would be comparing our elite private schools and how those schools do uh, to countries that are less diverse, uh, we would be knocking the ball out of the park. Uh, but public education, and this is one of the great strengths of our country, it is about every child, every single child, no matter where they come from, what their background is, uh, what their skill set is, whether they have a disability or not, they are brought to the table of public education and we will devote our resources to maximizing their learning opportunities. That doesn't always occur in other countries. And so that narrative is somewhat frustrating to me because we are, as, a, as an institution, at an all-time high success rate. In <coughs> you look at ACT scores, you look at SAT, you look at college admittance. Now the world is changing. And, and the one thing that public education has never been uh, successful is being robust and rapid in adapting to change. We tend to lag change. And so we're going through a process right now that we're gonna have to continue to change how we go about educating children for multiple different reasons. One of which is the business model will not continue to support uh, public education. Uh, the compensation model, uh, back 20 years ago, I, I shared uh, this with a few folks, that when I uh, became a principal for the first time, now 19 years ago, that was the first time that I made more than my wife, who was a dental hygienist working three days a week. And so, and you, you can understand that. I mean, yes, it's not a high salary, a dental hygienist three days a week, but I was making less than that as a teacher, coaching three sports, two or varsity, and uh, made more finally by going into administration. That's changed. That's changed. And the compensation has now become fair for our professional educators, but the business model is really stressed. So we're going to have to look at how do we do things differently. And I know Steve Russell was that with that point each and every day. You know, the health insurance costs continue to go up, the retirement system challenges, and the salary cha challenges. And so that's that's one of our challenges in public ed. I mentioned technology education. A challenge here in Dublin City Schools, we grew so rapidly, especially back in the uh, the 80s and early 90s, mid 90s. I see Sharon uh, just came in during her tenure here. Sharon, do you remember how many how many buildings did you build while you were superintendent? Three. Three. And, and I see a lot of buildings with Bill Price's name on them, and Steve Anderson's. When this community exploded, we built a ton of buildings. And those buildings now are 20, 25, 30 years old. And so one of our challenges as Dublin City Schools, we're shifting from the building new to the caring for what we have. Now we don't have a dedicated revenue stream right now for uh, keeping and taking care of our buildings. This community's made a, a wonderful investment in a lot of schools. We operate 20 different schools. And so now we're not so much looking to build new, we're still in the adding on, and we're still in the now taking care of what's already built. And if you've got a 30 year old home, you know windows, roofs, boilers, all of those things. And that's where our focus from our facility. But let me, let me shift back to, to education per se. It is just imperative that uh, we continue to be mindful of the value of public education. Uh, another opportunity that I want to share with you in our, in our profession, a lot of stress right now on public educators, a lot of stress on teachers. Uh, and I'll, I'll share just briefly why. It's a new evaluation system in public education. You'll hear the acronym OTES, which is Ohio Teacher Evaluation System. Accountability is something that's just going across the business sector 
Uh, it's now moving into the public education sector. So the state of Ohio has created a new evaluation system for how we evaluate all teachers. <coughs> very prescriptive, very precise. 50% of the evaluation is based upon how students do on standardized test scores. Uh, that's a new thing. There was never a linkage between student achievement and teacher evaluation. We can, we can debate whether that's good or bad, it just hasn't been so. And so that is a major change for our teachers. Uh, the second piece of this is it's all digital and teachers will be rated in one of four categories and all of their data will be then sent to the Ohio Department of Education. From what's happened in other states that have walked down this pathway, uh, we live in a world of public records requests as well. And so you're gonna see at some point in time, and I'm gonna set the market the next two years, front page of the dispatch is gonna list off every teacher in Greater Columbus and list off their evaluation scores. Probably in the next column, probably have their salary, and then their school district there. Probably years of experience. And that type of transparency obviously is unsettling. And, and so that little stress is percolating right now in the ranks of our teachers. I mentioned trust, core value of trust. That's why it's so important to be focused on trust building because we are as good as our teachers. And if they're unsettled and if their focus is on their evaluation and things around that, it doesn't allow them to maximize their time and their performance with our students. And so again, as an administrator, that's one of the challenges going forward in this district. So I mentioned taking care of our buildings, dealing with the changes coming down uh, from the state. I didn't mention the, uh, the common core, the new curriculum. That's less of a change. Um, it's a good change, but we hear a lot about that, but that's not part of the big narrative of, of what we're having to change. But the new evaluation system and all the rules coming from the, the legislature or the federal government, uh, those are our challenges right now. With that, let me just end my uh, comments and, and then open up for questions. Wonderful things happening in Dublin City Schools. If you have children in this school system, and I have three, you should feel blessed. We're approving next week uh, the course catalog for the high school. Our course catalog and the opportunities that students have, to have for taking classes here, unbelievable. Almost unmatched in the state of Ohio. The number of languages that we offer, uh, the number of uh, STEM classes that we offer, just it is a great place uh, for children to get a great and wonderful education. We have challenges, challenges become opportunities. I'm a big person on continuous improvement. I did mention in my education back in 2010, I went to OSU Fisher and got a master's degree in business. That also just drives how I go about looking at the world. Continuous improvement in a well thought out methodical way uh, is the focus also of Dublin City Schools because where we're at today, we need to get better tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And we will, we've got great teachers, dedicated support staff, wonderful administrators, and that is a recipe that when you combine that and you work with your community and have an open dialogue with your community about its priorities, you can make a wonderful school system, which has long been the history here in Dublin City Schools. So with that, and again, I've been a superintendent for 15 years, you're not gonna ask any questions going to offend me nor uh, uh, anything. So roll up the sleeves and throw me some basketballs.